This is that coleus we started from seed, and it's starting to look so pretty. It's just beautiful colors. I'm going to try to collect some seed from this again this year. Pretty stuff. I'm going to take you guys around front and show you the front flower bed now, or front bed. Okay, this is the front yard, and we planted some of the impatiens that we started from seed in this bed. And this is some Swiss chard that we had growing in the garden that we needed the row to plant okra. So we moved this Swiss chard around to the front to see if it would grow in all winter because this is a very, very shady area under this great big oak tree. This huge oak. So it's very shady out here. We thought it might be shady and cool and this chard might grow here all summer. So we've got chard and impatience. And then the Malabar spinach we started from seed. We had leftover plants, so we took the ones that we didn't plant on the fence and planted it out here in this bed, see if it would run, see if it would act as an edible ground cover out here in this shady area. Just giving it a try. And we have more of the impatience we planted in the front of the bed. This bed needs weeding. I'll weed it out this weekend. And they're starting to show out and we had enough to plant more on the tip of this bed so here's more impatience at the tip of this bed so we're working on the front and the back kind of working on moving the edible stuff out front a little bit more We've never grown anything to eat out in the front, but we thought, you know, if the lettuces and the chard will grow here during the summer since it's so shady under that tree, why not? So we'll try, they're beautiful, so we'll try it. Give them a go this summer and see how it works. But the impatiens are really looking pretty. And I like the Malabar as a ground cover. I think it's looking pretty. It's not growing really fast, but it's not, I mean, it's healthy looking. It's just growing more slowly over here in the shade. So we'll see how she goes. Thanks for watching.